Okay, today I'm going to show you how to use Flippity uh, to turn a Google spreadsheet into a spelling word manager. I'm going to click on instructions. In this case, again, I'm going to use tab resize, great extension. As we always do, you click on the template with Flippity. What I'm going to do is copy that URL, paste and go. It will now make a copy and place it into my Google Drive. Now, you will see that there are nine lists. You can have up to 50 lists with, uh, with Flippity. And what you'll see here is anytime there is a homonym, uh, they recommend that you put quotation marks and put a phrase afterwards. Um, and they also state that with practices and quizzes that the, uh, it is case sensitive. Um, you can put uh, email results too. So what I'm going to do on this one, I'm going to put my email in here and I will take the quiz at the end. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is click on file, publish to the web, click on publish, click OK. Again, grab that URL, copy it, go in to get the link here. Again, with this, uh, because I haven't put anyone else's emails in here, they won't be sent to a parent, a guardian uh, themselves. Um, but Elmo will be. Okay. Get the link here. I'm going to right click and paste. Sure enough, hover over where it says this. Click on it. And what will happen is you'll come up with a list of names. Click on Elmo. And you, they can go through and listen to the list. Eight. He ate the apple. Okay. They can spell. practice. Eight. He ate the spell. And they can quiz. Group. All right, so I'm just going to go through it. Whoops, spell. spelled eight. it wrong. Okay. Nine comes after eight. Eight, spell, pencil. Okay. Spell, built. And as you spell. can see. Eight, he ate the apple. All right. Spell. So you want to hear that Tired. again. There it is. If you need to hear the word again, you click on there. Spell, office. So you want to hear it again. What word? Office. Okay. Now I'm going to click enter. And you can see that this come in. The quiz results have been emailed directly to Brad J. Dale at Gmail. Uh, this can also be shared. This right in here can quickly be shared in Google Classroom or with a QR code in Twitter and Facebook. Should you have any questions, please let me know. Hope you enjoy this. It's something a little bit different that uh, maybe your students will enjoy. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.